Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. First things first, I want to tell you Happy New Year, you guys. This is 2019. This is my first video and I'm pretty excited about this upcoming year and I cannot wait to see what this year will bring. For today's video, I am sharing with you or starting to prepare and give you ideas for Valentine's Day. I'm starting with very easy, very simple, um, nothing too crazy for the backdrop, very cute and very easy to execute. If you want to see what's going on, what I did, what I used, then stay tuned and let's get to it. Now here I have my paper that I think I will be using. I don't want to go too crazy on the color, so two uh, different pinks. This paper is a regular printing paper, only in pink, very thin. And this one is a darker pink construction paper, so there's a difference. This is more rough, thicker, and more stable, I guess, and this is more softer and thinner. I also bought this hard puncher. I hope this one will be great and it's not going to give me trouble like my circle one. I used my circle one uh, once and um, it broke. So this thing just got stuck and it ruins all of my paper and it's just not good and I'm not happy about it. So hopefully this one will be just exactly what I'm looking for and it's gonna serve me for quite some time. I bought this on Amazon. I will link a link for this puncher um, in the description down below. So I'll be taking my paper and punching out lots of hearts. thoughts about this puncher. I love it so far. It's very sharp. It works great to punch it, uh, these hearts out with no problem. I used two pages of construction paper. It worked great. And uh, for my printing paper, I used uh, three pages and it worked great as well. We'll see how or how long this puncher will last me because I'm planning to use it for a lot more backdrops and we'll see how it's gonna hold up also this company is um marvi uchida if i'm not mistaken i own one of their punchers for a flower and i love it it served me for so many years and i never had a problem with that puncher we'll see if this is gonna be the same and um, yeah, let's go and finish this backdrop. To start off, I have a lot of white tulle here. I use this tool for my weddings and whenever I decorate for events and I need tool, this is the tool that I'm using. I invested in it uh, myself and uh, yes, I love this tool because it's very soft and um, you, can, you can do so much with tool. And I want to start this backdrop with uh, easy flow and then getting probably into more harder or more creative backdrops. Not harder, but more creative. So this one will be using lots of tool and will be using lots of hearts. So what I want to do right now is I want to hang a few uh, strands of this tool over this fabric over here to make it more romantic and soft and flowy. So I am using my uh, pins with pearls on top and I'll show you a little bit later how I pinned all of my tool to my fabric. Let's drape and pin this tool and I'll be right back. draped as you can see here I didn't cut my tool I just started from the top 
draped it down to the bottom and then I turned with my fabric and went all the way up and again turn in the back and then again back and forth back and forth great hack if you don't want to cut your fabric if you not a big fan of this turn and twist of fabric over here then pull your fabric down a lot more and there will be just a lot more fabric or tool at the bottom and you won't be able to see this turn i'm okay with that i think it looks fine to me and let me show you how i pinned this fabric as you can see here i have some pins with pearls and top holding my tool so all you do is drape the tool take one of your needles with a pearls on top i like these better it's going to be a lot easier to find them uh, when you're going to be taking your backdrop apart so you want to go in with your um, pin on an angle from behind just like that so going from the back piercing through all of the layers of the fabric and push your pin into fabric you can go through all of the layers um, just like here or you can hide the pin and just leave it just like that either way works you pull your tool and it's there it's not going anywhere what I want to do now is to take my heart take this needle with a pearl on top go into my heart and I'm ready to pin every single heart on my backdrop I want to go into the tool I want to go on top I want to go everywhere and place as many as many hearts as I can To save even more time with this backdrop, just prepare your hearts, pre-insert them with a needle with the pearl on top, put them in some kind of container, box, whatever you have, and then go and pin them on your tool. Believe me, it will save you so much time. Let me quickly show you how I pin my heart. So you take your heart with a pin, you go into your tool, just kind of catching it and press it in. That's it. Here's what I have for you guys today. Look how pretty this is. It is so cute and it's not complicated whatsoever, but it looks really, really, really good. It's so flowy, I love the tool. It gives that flowiness, that romantic feel, and I, I just, I, I love it. I can't tell you how many hearts are here. I didn't count. It's gonna depend all on you, how many hearts you want on your backdrop and yeah you guys i will play with uplighting and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty, guys so here you have it this is my first backdrop for valentine's day i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up a lot more valentine's videos are coming and i will be mixing my valentine's day with different um totally different than valentine's day backdrop so stay tuned for that also if you have any questions and just leave them in the comments down below your thoughts questions i'll be there to answer and chat with you guys also if you're here for the first time don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see why not join it right Alrighty, guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye, -bye.